what's up guys welcome back so today we'll be looking at the pattern that you are seeing on your screen now this pattern is a combination of two patterns so if you remember the upper half of the triangle is uh, is the pattern that we did in a previous lecture and the lower half is which i told you to uh, try yourself now we'll just merge both of these two patterns and we'll get uh, this pattern now this is quite simple so let's see how uh, do we see this on the screen so this is what your pattern looks like on your screen so first you start increasing your number of stars and later you go decreasing so you get a diamond shape pattern okay so now this pattern will be looked in two different patterns for us okay so if you see carefully the red one the red one is the pattern that we did and the blue one is the pattern that i told you to do okay so if you merge both of them together we'll get this pattern so we'll be implementing this code using uh, these two patterns and merging them together so let's see uh, individual pattern now uh, this pattern is uh, similar as the, uh, the actually same as the last one so i'll not be telling uh, much about this that is your uh, the, the st uh, star number of stars to be printed is given by this formula rho into 2 minus 1 uh, now if you have any problems uh, understanding this pattern please go to the previous video because the previous video was whole uh, uh, the previous video was whole on this pattern so we completely did this pattern from scratch so I'll just be moving to the uh, lower triangle which I didn't do okay so as you can see the row is 6, 7, 8, 9 but f uh, we'll be assuming this as 4, 5 sorry 4, 3, 2, 1 okay so uh, this is what our pattern will be to draw now uh, if you see carefully we have to start out with one space over here uh, so uh, s uh, when you see this pattern there is one space starting here then two three and four and so on now there's one peculiarity about this pattern that is this o this pattern only exists for odd number of rows if you see them for nine okay so if you want them for ten it's like you cannot have it because it will not be in a diamond shape this uh, this fifth row will be duplicated over on the sixth row so we will not have this pattern so this pattern is applicable only for odd number of rows okay so while taking the input from the user we will be asking the user how many rows he wants but we will be uh, we will be using the number of rows as our starting part that is if he tells to print five rows that means that the upper triangle is of five rows and the lower triangle is of four rows now according to that if he tells that uh, your upper triangle is of four rows then the lower triangle will be of three rows so that way we'll be implementing the code okay so now we are back here uh, now four three two one now this is what our loop uh, rows will be and our columns at the top now if you uh, see the formula that we studied previously that is the rho into 2 minus 1 is applicable for each of these stars so if you see 4 into 2 minus 1 that is 7 so we have printed over here 7 stars okay so now the problem here is only to get the spaces now how will we going through the spaces now uh, we know that we want to print 5 rows okay so we printed the top 5 rows and now we are printing the lower 4 right so we know that the number of rows that user has entered is 5 so our formula for uh, printing the spaces is the number of rows the user told us to print that is the total number of rows minus the current row which we are on so say uh, now the user told us to print 5 rows right and uh, we are on the 4th row so 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 so we will be printing 1 spaces now for the same for 2 now we printed 5 rows okay and uh, we know that user told us to print 5 rows and we are on the 2nd row right so we will be printing 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 so we printed 3 spaces uh, now I hope you have understood these formula now these as you continue solving your patterns you will get this logic now this takes some time now I have gone through a lot of patterns so this clicks in very easily but if you go through all the patterns like from the first pattern that we did to the pattern that I'll be doing uh, you will become a champion in uh, printing patterns so let's quickly jump into the code okay so I just created a pattern print 9.c because it is a 9 pattern printing and I just wrote down your stdio and uh, the main 
now the thing that we need to start is how many uh, uh, rows for the top triangle that's the top half of the triangle now i'll be using the variable called total rows now this we'll be assuming that first we start out with 5 now if you want you can take this input from the user just for convenience uh, for skipping those two steps i just uh, uh, gave it direct okay so as you can see uh, i have uh, i'll be using the uh, loop variable rows column space and column stars that we have been using from lot of lot of the past videos now the row for those who are new the row is for printing our rows uh, this column space is for printing the spaces and uh, the column star will be for used for uh, printing the stars that is so let's start our main for loop now as i told you we'll be printing this in two parts that is the top half of the triangle and the lower half of the triangle so for this you will be seeing two main for loops okay so uh, we'll be having nesting of for loops but we'll be having two main for loops so uh, this part will get clear a little bit later so let's start with our top half of the triangle which we actually did in the previous video so i'll just be going it very quickly if you have any doubts please jump back to the previous video now i just wrote down our main for loops and these two for loops now the first this one is for printing spaces and this one is for printing our stars uh, which we'll write later but uh, the first for loop we have to print uh, for the top half right as we are taking the number of rows to be printed on the top ha uh, top half of the uh, triangle we'll be directly using it so we want to print for the first row till the fifth row okay so this loop will run five times now okay so i just wrote down our uh, space printing that will start from the total rows minus the current row which we are on and we'll go till it is greater than or equal to one and we'll decrement the spaces so i just printed a space now this is all from the previous uh, video and now we'll start our printing for our stars so i just wrote down our printing for our stars that is we'll start from one and we'll be going till our formula which we, uh, which we showed in the presentation and we'll be incrementing our column stars now the last thing that we need to do is uh, to complete our uh, first half of the triangle is that we need to go to the next line so let's do that uh, now we must have printed the top half of the triangle so let's see if it is right so i'll compile and execute it so as you can see we finished our top half now the bottom half is left now this was just a, t a quick recap of the previous video now let's quickly go to the bottom half now this is the part that i wrote down now now if you can see this structure is same as this one now i remember i told you that we'll be having two main for loops that is the top one and the bottom one now these two have the same structure now this looping structure that we have used will be printing the lower half of the triangle as you can see over here so we'll be using the same variable that is the row column space for the spaces and column stars for the stars now remember that in this loop we have to start our counter from 4 3 2 and then go till 1 so we'll be using this this counters in our main loop so we'll be starting our row from from the total rows minus one that is if you remember properly if we print five rows in our top half triangle then in the bottom there will be four so same way if we had hundred rows in our top triangle then we'll be having 99 rows in our lower triangle so you need to remember this or else you will not get the pattern properly and this will go till our number is actually greater than or equal to one and in this case we'll be decrementing our row so we have now written our main for loop so now let's go for our space printing now if you remember this is the formula that we'll be using for space printing that is our total number of rows that the user told us to print in our top half of the triangle minus the current row which we are on that is if five minus two so this gives us three five minus one which gives us four or in this case we'll be starting our column space from one and this will be going till our column space is less than or equal to the total rows minus the current row which we are printing on now this is basically the formula that, that i showed you in the presentation and in this case our column space will be incrementing okay so now just we need to do a simple work that is we need to print our spaces so now that we have done our printing our spaces now let's move to printing our stars so for the stars we'll be using the same formula that is we'll be starting from column star equal to 
1 and will be going till column star is is less than or equal to 2 into row minus 1 okay and will be incrementing our column star okay so if you see closely this loop and this loop are actually the same okay so now we need to do is printf and we'll be printing stars so just the last step before we complete our pattern uh, pattern we just need to go to our next line which is with the backslash n okay so let's compile and see if you have any errors okay okay i forgot to put a print f so let's compile again so no errors so let's execute it so as you can see we got the output that we desired so let's try uh, Incre increasing the number of rows which we want to print so say if you want to print 10 rows now you can see that this is perfectly right for our 10 rows so we finally have completed our pattern now before we go off now we'll uh, we I'll just be doing this pattern in the next uh, maybe the next uh, tutorial and uh, I just want to give you a sneak peek into this tutorial because of, uh, we'll be using a lot from this tutorial so as you can see now this is a rectangle which has spaces in the form of a quadrilateral or you can say a parallelogram if you see them carefully now this red area denotes the white space now you can see that this is a quadrilateral so this is what we'll be doing in our next tutorial but I just want to give you a sneak peek now so if we change our spaces to stars and stars to spaces now what do we get let's try it so I'll show you a magic so now as you can see we actually printed the half of half of the pattern that is we actually completed the half of our pattern that we'll be doing in next tutorial so please do check it out now remember this that you have completed this half now you just need to print the this half that is the right hand side of the uh, your rectangle and we'll finally get this pattern now this will be done in our later tutorials but if you guys want to try it uh, and uh, if you want to try it then please go ahead this uh, this code that you have used you just need to modify a little bit and you'll get to the final result so that's it for this tutorial please do subscribe to our channel like our video and if you want any pattern to be done by us put it in the comment section or the description section thank you